Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel for my monthly haul, which you may have guessed from uh, this mess. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it! I don't really have a lot of fashion items. I have this Village Witch t-shirt from Vegan Outfitters, which I also have in this sandy brown and more brown. I really like this print. Now, full disclosure, I am not vegan myself, but uh, that won't stop me from getting awesome garments like these. This actually came today, so I've not worn it or washed it yet, but I have this awesome Gryffindor Grandpa cardigan, and this is from the London Warner Brothers studio has a Gryffindor patch here, then detailing, color detailing on the sleeves. I saw a lion somewhere as well, if I'm not mistaken. I only just got it today. Yeah, it says brave at heart on the little zipper pull. I don't think it will focus on it, but that's what it says. And I, oh yeah, it has a metal tab saying Gryffindor right here. And I thought I saw a lion somewhere. There may or may not be one. This is a acrylic cardigan, if I am not mistaken. Let me double check. Yep, felt it. I knit with acrylic usually, so I can I can feel it pretty well now. So yeah, it has a zipper. It has pockets, what which is what I like. And this is, if I am not mistaken, a small. Yeah, it's a small, but there unisex, so this is pretty oversized, just like I like them. And I'm dropping this one to the floor because I still have to wash it anyway. My friend Laura was so kind to pick it up for me at the, the studios when she went. So thank you so much, Laura. I really appreciate it. And then I have one more fashion item, which is in the wash. And it is uh, this ghost dress by K. Corti, which I will insert a picture of me wearing it here. And I really like it. It's just really lightweight t-shirt cotton, like the same stuff that your t-shirt is made of. Um, it has a back zipper, which is not the most practical thing. I prefer the polo dresses, so to speak. But yeah, uh, it's fun. I like it. I like the print. Uh, I like that it's kind of greenish to give this glow in the dark um, effect. It's not actually actually glow in the dark, but it's kind of simulating a glow in the dark, so to speak. I will say with Cake Worthy, the quality is kind of on the fence, eh? So I feel like you pay a lot for mediocre quality. Um, it is very cute though, and if you if you take very good care of your cake worthy items, like only rinse wash them, let them dry, like air dry, don't put them in the in the dryer, you will likely get a lot of wear out of them. But I'm just putting that out there that the quality is not the most amazing. And I would also recommend the size up. My friend Jessie, uh, from Miss Jerry's channel, I will link her down below as well, have kindly advised me to do so. And I have done that on all three of my cake worthy dresses and I'm very glad I've done that. So yeah, just putting that out there. You may have had an inkling of what comes next from this giant witch hat I am wearing. This is one of the Everyday Bruja hats from the Beheaded. It also has a ribbon tie, so you can wear it well, this is not properly tied, obviously, but you could wear it like this, which I never do, because this fits me perfectly. And um, I, I probably would if I am wearing it out and it's super windy, but I think that this might be more of a photo and events kind of hat, because it is quite heavy if you wear it after a while. And um, even though I love it, there's a witch hat that I love even more. This is the one by Hojo Hattori that Bert got me for our 20 year anniversary. Yes, we've been together for that long. Um, yeah, and it has a skeleton key design that Holly drew on herself with, I forget what it's called, but um, it's a special technique that she uses. And if you check her out, and I will link her in the description, you will be able to see what it's called, Spyro something or other. Um, and then she paints in it, um, but yeah, he, 
got it for me for our anniversary. And the key design is uh, an old skeleton key that's been in my family for uh, a couple of generations. So it's a very meaningful and awesome hat and I love it. I absolutely love, love, love it, this hat. And um, as you can see, I have a backboard behind me and you obviously can't see the hats because they're high up. You can see them in the background if you watch one of uh, the Wired Sisters podcasts, but um, I usually have them up on hooks um, or in case of the beheaded one on a clip. Um, on there where they are stored nicely. Then I have two more hats. First up is this silly little green Tiroler hat. And you might be wondering why on earth did you buy a green Tiroler hat? And also I need more volume in my hair for this to suit me even slightly. Well, the reason is that my friend Marie and I are going to do a photo shoot with Bert in his studio. And it's basically just a, a fun fandom shoot. And um, she's going to be um, Asmodeus from Shadowhunters, Magnus's dad, but uh, the series um, version, because she basically wears the same kind of clothing he does. So she just has to open her closet. And I am going to be Samael from um, The Lost Book of the White, but like we're doing obviously gender bent versions. And Samael, wears a green Tiroler hat with a phoenix feather. So I still have to craft the feather, but at least I already have the hat and you know, the outfit is also same case as Marie. I just have to open my closet. Then this is my final hat. It looks like a pretty regular hat, doesn't it? It's not. It is this amazing, amazing Ouija hat from Witchwood. And, uh, I saw Taylor from Taylor Treat wear this and I was like, where did you get it? And she was kind enough to port me at the shop, which I really love um, about the Halloween community. They are very quick to share where they get things, which is super awesome. So um, I ordered one as well. And now I have this awesome hat. I do have a few more Ouija items and it still doesn't end here. If my camera focuses on my pin board at least, uh, this is just a, a, a cork cooking thing that goes underneath your pants from Ikea, but it does the trick. Um, yeah, more Ouija stuff. These three are by a French creator, I cannot speak, uh, a French creator called Le Caillou Magique. And um, yeah, I, I really love these, especially the Weezes one. That is my favorite, of course. And I got super lucky because these two were in stock. But then she had B-grade blind bags and I got two. I will not say what the other one is because it's a present for a friend and I don't want to spoil it. But one of the two I got was this guy. I also got the Slytherin one for my best friend, but it's in a box with stuff I need to send her. Um, but yeah, they're all super cool and you should totally check her out. Then these two, the self... Um, what does it say? Self-confidence potion and then Hedwig carrying a Hogwarts letter are both by Studio Pins and Paper. And I love these. I mean, how cool is this self-confidence potion bottle in the Weasley Weasley's colors? I can totally see them brewing something for that to give you like this extra boost when you need it. That sounds like something Fred and George would do. Um, and yeah, then the spinner pin is by Sourpuss and this jack-o'-lantern in a TV is by Lively Ghost. And I got these two guys on um, my friend Will's store, October 31st. I have two hauls of um, stuff I got at Will's and I will link them in the description. But yeah, love all of these. Then I have, <laughs> if it actually wants to point the right way, this super cool necklace that my friend Laura made. The same Laura that helped me get the uh, Gryffindor cardigan. But yeah, she makes this. She has her own small shop called Dreamport Designs. And this is one of the Disney Cruise Line pieces, if I'm not mistaken, and it is Goofy painting. And he's normally painting the cruise ship, well, one of the Disney cruise ships. Um, 
I have a thing with the Disney Cruise Line, but I do like Goofy because he's such a character and he's also clumsy like me and very confused like me. So yeah, I, I just love Goofy and I also paint um, as a hobby. So I felt like this was super accurate and I really, really, really wanted to have one. So yeah. Plus, it's fun to be able to support a small shop and not Disney, who are not doing very well at the moment when it comes to several social issues. Um, yeah. Warner Brothers could also do better. This cute Amortensia necklace is a present my friend Jess sent me for Halloween. Um, well, you know, the Halloween version of Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day in our case. And it is a Amortensia bottle necklace. And this is by I Love Crafty, which is a UK based small shop. And they've always get super, super fun things. And I really, really love this. I left it on the, um, the backing card so I can show the card and everything. And I would for sure not forget who made it. But yeah, I really love this. It's super, super cute. And also super nice for lovecore outfits. I kinda, due to circumstances, <laughs> mostly because Beth had to work extra, extra days at his job. So it was kinda hard to go out and buy things. And then he got sick, uh, not with the dreaded sea plague, just a regular plague, those still exist. So um, I, I got all my, Valentine's Day slash Halloween slash lovecore items um, after Valentine's Day, so I'm very prepared for next year, <laughs> which is also good, I suppose. I have also got quite a few home decor items this month, starting with this guy. This is a vampire head, a classic movie vampire. I've, I've actually seen people say that this is a Universal's Monsters Dracula, but I have no confirmation whether this is true or not. I just know he's my creepy vampire head. Cookie Jar opens up like this, and uh, he currently has the last of my spooky Oreos from last year's Halloween season inside, where they stay nice and fresh. Well, hopefully, I've not tried one should check. Not right now though. But yeah, I flippin' love this guy. I found him on the horror shop, which I was also directed to by somebody in the Halloween community. Thank you again for that tip. Um, I went looking for something else entirely that I saw on Instagram and found this guy. And uh, yeah, I had to have him. It was an Insta buy. It was basically horror shop, take my money. I mean, how cool is he? I love him. He's a baseballs. I'm gonna sit him right here where he cannot have any accidents. Then I also got these guys at the horror shop. They do not come with tiny fake succulents. I um, put those in there. They're from um, Ikea. They're just little succulents in a pot. Quickly take them out. You get these two tiny decorative bales. Would not advise going trick or treating with them because they'd be very full very soon. But yeah, I like the, to keep them as decor in my studio, just with the little succulents inside. They're actually a little bit too tiny to go in, but the plant keeps them up in here, so they're kind of floating, but it works. So why not, right? I, I really love these guys. I also got one more thing from the horror shop and it is this talking board the predecessor of the Ouija board I really like this this is not wood it's I think an M well I think it's MDF with something like some kind of film put over it so to speak it has a planchette this looks like this I don't know if it's focusing on it. Yep, it is now. No, yes. Come on, camera, behave. But yeah, I really like this. It's very traditional looking. So I hope it will be nice for flat lace if it doesn't reflect too much. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's um, 
for me, it's the decor piece. I really don't want to mess around with Ouija boards or talking boards. Same difference, really, in the end. Um, it does say use with caution, which I intend to do because I'm not entirely sure that this is a very, very sturdy. So um, there is that. Then, like I mentioned, I bought my Halloween, uh, my Valloween, sorry, my Halloween decor I always buy in season, but I bought my Valloween decor a bit late. And thankfully, the um, Big Tiger, the two-story one in Antwerp, still had some things left. And I found this silly anatomical squishy heart with a very, very cheap. And it doesn't actually feel gross. This feels quite pleasant to squeeze and it looks nice enough for pictures. So I got it. And then I have this heart, which is essentially a magic eight ball. Let's ask it a question. Will the world stop going to pot anytime soon? This is actually worse quality than my actual magic eight ball. I didn't know that was possible, but there you go. It was, in its defense, five euros, so that is probably why it is so rubbish. But yeah, um... Ah, I can't read it. It says yes. So I'm pretty sure this is as equally full of shit as the Magic 8 ball is, but uh, I hope it's true. You've seen me lift this up, but um... This also arrived today and I ordered it like halfway through the month. This étagère, I'm not entirely sure what you call it in English. It's not really a fruit basket, I don't think. But yeah, we call it an étagère. Um, I thought it would just be like super nice for flat lays. So I got it and I thought it would be bigger than it actually is. It's kind of like a double stacked wire basket, really. Um, yeah, I thought it would be bigger, but it's not. And that's actually okay because now it will fit into the camera frame easier. And then this cool steampunk looking lamp. It's fake rust, obviously. Um, the quality is kind of lackluster at best, but uh, it's, it's neat looking. I did consider returning it, but um, I feel like they'll probably all be like that, and yeah. <laughs> and I'm kind of, I'm kind of like baffled because normally stuff you get at the shop at Lobiron is really, really good quality. We've got several pieces from them, and they're all top notch. But this is just plastic crap, really. Um, yeah, it's kind of all crooked in there. I'm going to have to have a proper look at it because this arrived today and I just put batteries in so there might be just like a bad connection somewhere or maybe it's just legit supposed to be like this but I'm not sure it seems very wonky and wobbly so do not recommend buying this particular piece but even if it doesn't work it's still pretty neat looking as a photo prop which is why I mostly wanted it in the first place. Um, and it was pretty cheap, so that helps. But yeah, I actually too, had two traditional egg baskets, which I can't show you because they didn't arrive with the order like they should have. So uh, I contacted Lobodon and hopefully I will be able to show them to you in my March haul next month. As for stationery, let's start with well, this is not really a stationary item, but it, a sticker came with it. So I'm gonna address this first. This is the Halloween um, zine by Spooky Little Halloween. And um, it has 14 of Spooky Valentine collections. A Love Witch inspired cocktail, DIY decor inspiration, and a Halloween playlist. And um, yeah, it's just a really fun little full color zine. Um, and if you're into, you know, Halloween, then this is super fun. I'm not sure if Miranda still has any left on her website, 
but I will absolutely link to her in the description. And this is the super cute sticker that came with it. It is a holographic ghosty. I mean, who doesn't love stuff like this? I know I do. I have more stickers. I have this sticker sheet by Miss Danger and it came with the overskirt I ordered from them. So yeah, love these. Very, very, very cool. I have a, I have the idea that my best friend Charlotte is going to try to steal these from me. Um, I'm happy to share though. <laughs> Then I got these super cool Nightmare Before Christmas stickers by October 31st. My friend Will Store, these are his designs. Um, so if you have a hankering for a um, small shop Nightmare Before Christmas, he's releasing this collection um, the first Friday of March. Not sure when this video is going up, somewhere the first week of March. Hopefully before the collection went live, but... Um, yeah, either very soon after you've seen this or it's up when you see this. I actually love this vampire daddy. I'm usually not a huge vampire daddy fan, but this guy is so well drawn. I love him. I mean, I like all three, obviously. Um, and he sent them to me when he sent a Halloween card. Because we, I mean, me and a couple of friends, exchanged Halloween cards as um, our version of Galentine slash Valentine's Day, because uh, why not? Why not show your friends some love, right? Then I have this set of three Valentine's Day washi from Flying Tiger, and these are still in the packaging, because I have the same ones for me, but these are going to a friend, but I wanted to show them in the packaging, and it's all purple hearts on red, then it says yay in purple, darker purple, pink and a red and then it's all love hearts with little text inside. It's very very cute, very very fun and these are actually pretty good quality because I have some Halloween ones from Tiger from like 2016 or 2017 and those are rubbish but these are top notch. Um, would recommend if you can still find them. And these are also super fun. These are also from Tiger and these are their uh, Valentine's Day roll tickets and they say things like one movie night, um, they have one that says one big fat kiss, one hug with a heart, there's one that says uh, one home cooked dinner or one home cooked meal, something like that. Uh, again, I have the same one, but mine is open and not as all neat because it kind of goes poof when you open it. Um, again, this is for a friend. But these are really, really fun. They are not self-adhesive, so you have to use some kind of adhesive to stick them to things, but they're really good for journaling. And you can actually like rip them uh, separately, like piece by piece. Um, they have like these little uh, lines where you can just separate one from the roll, so to speak. And I really enjoy those. I think these are really fun. Tiger for sure had some really fun, inexpensive bits and bobs in this year's Halloween collection. Uh, again, Valentine's Day collection. I want to say Halloween, but my head is so into Halloween. Um, so I'm going to say Valentine's Day because that's really what it is because most people celebrate Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day or Valentine's Day, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, Tiger had a lot of cool things in their love collection. There, there, that was uh, all inclusive. I got there in the end. Um, yeah, so um, I'm glad that I was still able to grab some of those things even a week later. Lastly, I have two postcards. This is, well, I have two of the same and I'm going to give these to Princess Loving Friends, which is not me. And it's uh, Briar Rose, well, Aurora, but at this point she's called Briar Rose with some of her animal friends resting in the woods. And this is super, super cute. I got these with my Caillou Magic order. And um, yeah, the art is actually really stunning, but I'm not much of a Disney princess person, so I'm not going to keep it. Although I might actually put one in my um, The Art of Disney Princess book. So yeah, 
really neat, very thoughtful. I feel like that you often get super, super thoughtful gifts with small shop orders. Now, this isn't from a small shop. This is um, a card I got with my um, order on Douglas.be. And Douglas is this big um, cosmetics chain in the Netherlands. But when you place an order online, you can take a free postcard, a greeting card, and you can either have a message printed on it or just get a blank one and write on it yourself. So um, I always profit off said kind offer and uh, the bag just says Douglas. And grab a free card because you never know when you need a card. Um, so yeah, I got this. For my final items, it's all like the, the stuff that didn't really fit into other categories. First up, I have my new Instax. It's the Instax Evo and the case for it. It's just this super cool retro designed Instax camera and I really love it. But if you want to know more about it, I have a whole review filmed and up on my channel, which I will also link to in the description. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to know more, check that out. and. Um, Hopefully it answers all questions you may have about the Instax Evo. And if not, leave a comment in either this video or that one and I will do my very best to answer any and all questions. Then I have some movies. I have a Fright Night, the remake, which is one of the very few remakes I actually like. Mostly I despise remakes. Um, but this one I liked. It was more like an homage than an actual remake. I love the original Fright Night, but I love A Fright Night 2, the sequel to the original Fright Night, also from the 80s, with like um, the original Charlie Brewster and the original Peter Vincent. But yeah, I, I love that movie as well. Um, but this one I really liked. And my neighbor Martin actually gave this to me. He showed up at my door with this and was like, you can have it. I was like, thank you so much. And I really enjoy it. I've, I've watched it a couple of times since it's been given to me. So thank you so much, Marta. I, I really love that movie. And now I finally own my own copy of Trick or Treat. And obviously I had seen Trick or Treat beforehand. Um, it's not like I just like completely had that pass over my head, which is quite hard considering the, the, the height my witch hats go these days. But <laughs> That bad joke aside, I had seen it. I liked it before. I mean, like, it's 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 a really good movie. It's very, very fun. And it's a kind of kitchen camp and um, over-the-top ridiculousness in horror that I love. But yeah, I'm glad to finally own my own copy of Trick or Treat and um, be able to see it whenever I want. The DVD is actually in the DVD player right now. Enough said. Then I have one Blu-ray because the Blu-ray, oddly enough, was one euro cheaper than the DVD. With the others, um, the Blu-ray was significantly more expensive. So I just get the cheapest option unless it's for bed, in which case I will buy the Blu-ray because he's like, I want Blu-rays because they're better quality. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> We have a regular TV, you know, not 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 an old box, but um, it is app compatible. <laughs> but um, I would just say we don't have like ultra 4K HD or whatever it is these days. So the difference between Blu-ray and DVD is not so significant that I hype about Blu-rays. But all my bubbling about Blu-ray versus DVD aside, I saw this movie on Netflix. Um, it is the house with a clock um, in its walls. And um, I loved it. I, I had seen the trailer a couple of years ago, but I don't know why we didn't see it in cinema, probably because it just didn't work out. Um, and then I just kind of forgot about it, but it showed up on Netflix. And of course I jumped on the occasion to finally see it. and. I loved it so much. I immediately just went on bold.com and found myself a copy for in case Netflix doesn't show it anymore because I want to be able to watch this whenever I feel like it. I love it so much. I've actually bought the book in Kindle copy, so that's, there's not much to show about that. And I'm currently reading it. And I must say that it is quite significantly different 
from the film, but not in an obnoxious way. For so far that I've read it, I'm nearly halfway through, I feel like even though the movie changed quite a few things, they did a really good adaptation. And so I'm not going to say that the book was better than the movie or the movie was better than the book because I feel like they're both awesome in their own right and just two different tellings of the same story. So um, I feel like if you haven't seen the movie yet but you have read the book, you will not be disappointed. And likewise, if you have read the... Uh, have, <laughs> likewise, if you have seen the movie but have not read the book yet, not yet read the book, words i'm gonna get there um you will also not be disappointed so um i'm really happy about that because the book is actually part like the first one in an entire series and they're all very cheap on amazon like the kindle copies so uh well kindle is amazon um so i feel like i have a lot to look forward to still reading wise i know everybody's like reading akotar and other series like it and here i am reading the lewis barneveld books but uh i'm really vibing those so that was my book find thanks to a movie find thanks to netflix thank you netflix now my very last item was this matcha tea chocolate uh, this wizard chocolate that my friend Jess sent me, um, along with the Amortensia necklace. Thank you, Jess. It was delicious. And um, I have been wanting to try wizard chocolate, um, but as far as I know, it's only distributed in Belgium by a store I just do not want to support anymore. Um, so there was that. I also didn't want to import it from the UK and pay lots of customs on it. Um, but then Jess sent this to me and this is um, matcha tea chocolate and it tasted just like the actual Japanese matcha chocolate, which I adore. So now I'm really on the fence about buying more from the UK. But, but thankfully, um, I can also just order matcha chocolate from um, Café Tas, which is a Belgian brand, so no customs and very low shipping. And um, I'm very likely just going to do that but if I'm ever managing to go back to the UK I will be buying lots more of these and I've kept a wrapper because um, it's made by the Phelps brothers or it's their company well not made by them I think it's their company or they're at least involved in the company and um yeah so I put it on my Weasley's Wizard Weasley's shelf I didn't just keep an empty wrapper for this video um, but yeah it says magic chocolate from the United Kingdom and this is not vegan, this is just actual matcha chocolate. And I wouldn't even be surprised if it is the Japanese recipe because it tastes just like it. So yeah, that was it. That was everything I have for my January haul. Just quite a few things I realize, which I feel a bit bad about. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Are we item twins? Have you seen anything that you really, really like that you, that has caught your eye and that you want to get for yourself? Or just leave a comment. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more from me. Hit that notification bell to make sure that um, YouTube actually tells you when I've uploaded because I do not have a set upload schedule. I'm far too chaotic for that. Or follow me on Instagram. My handle will be on the screen because I will for sure either put it in my grid or in my stories when I have a new video up. So there's that. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!